Good afternoon, ladies and gents, back at it again. Today, we're going to remove the juggernaut system and we're going to replace it with the original battery assist with this bad lever. Of course, it's to help with the bolt release. So, we'll go ahead and get to it. Then after that, we're gonna install this new pistol grip that is a 45 degree from Sparrow Dynamics. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the original pistol grip. Careful when removing the original pistol grip because it does have a spring and a detent in it. There is the bolt. There is the spring that we're gonna use after when we're all done for the second pistol grip. The detent is inside in that little pocket. So go ahead and just tip the gun over and there's the detent. Place it over here. Next thing you're gonna do is loosen the castle nut. Be careful when loosening the castle nut because there's also a detent and a spring in here that holds the juggernaut. So you might want to put some pressure on the end plate. You see the spring, go ahead and turn it slightly. Pull out the spring. Tilt the gun. There's the detent. That first spring from the pistol grip is for the safety select switch. So it's going to start freely moving back and forth. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of that when we're all done. Now you're going to remove the juggernaut. So unscrew the thumb screw spring and then you just pull the pin through that's going to allow you to open the firearm go ahead and remove the upper set the upper to the side now we're going to move the second part of the juggernaut system there is a pin in here go ahead and find something small enough to go in there tap it out There is the pin, remove the second half of the juggernaut kit. And there also is a little spring and a little other detent. So if that comes out, no biggie, just drop the spring first, put the little detent back in it, and that is necessary, we'll put that. So we're also gonna get the original battery assist We're gonna put the bolt release back aligned and there is a hole right here. So you're just gonna align these holes back up and then just put your pin back in, find the groove, put it back in. That's it, it's on there. We're good to go. Your original pin, you're going to put it in with that groove facing forward you're going to get your detent and you're going to put it in that original hole where it first came out of and then you're going to guide it with the spring as pressure as soon as you put it in you could see inside i don't know if you guys could see it that detent goes inside that groove go ahead and put back your end plate with that spring intact tie in your castle nut That's on there nice and tight. We could go ahead and install the new pistol grip, the detent. You see how it looks like a little bullet? The sharp end goes straight down, the flat goes on top. And then you just give your select switch a little turn until you feel it has engaged. Pointing towards the safe you are going to get your spring and install it in this small hole right here. That's it. 
and then I usually lay it flat and we are going to push in a quarter of the way here's your washer and your hex bolt so this is the part that kind of kind of sucks of actually getting it perfectly aligned you can lay it down and kind of guide it in Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then give it a couple little twists until you're able to get your Allen key from the top and just work it all the way in. Go ahead and, and tighten down your pistol grip. So grip is on go ahead and pull the pins out go ahead and attach your upper okay now you have your bolt release system your bad lever so pretty much simple you are going to get this flat part with the groove and put it right behind just like that this sits right above it aligned with the hole you are going to get your little screw take your time the last thing you want to do is mess up the threads or the bolt on this Some people try to over tighten it and that's how you mess up the threading as long as you feel resistance you are good to go no crazy pressure and that's it your bad lever is installed of course i don't have a magazine with me right now so if you rack it to the back it will not stay locked to the rear so the one thing to check to see if you did it properly is engage your charging handle and on the bottom push down to lock it to place and you could see that it does its job as its rear. And then you push down, engaging the BCG. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you install a bad lever, removing the juggernaut kit and adding a Sparrow Dynamics pistol grip. I hope it helped out. Thanks for watching.